Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Levy Builds. Or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My name is Aaliyah and I'm a builder in The Sims 4. And this video is a part of a collaboration. So this collab was set up by Princess Jasmine and she posted on Twitter asking that if anyone wants to join a collab for Christmas, to just let her know, reach out to her like on Twitter or on her other socials and she'll set you right up. <laughs> and so I did that exact thing. <laughs> I reached out to her on Twitter and I was like, hey, I would love to be a part of this collab if I, if I can still join. Because it had been a few days since she tweeted that, so I was like, is it too late? I don't know. And she said, anyone is welcome to join. There's an unlimited amount of people who can be a part of this collab, just as long as you get it done by the 22nd of December. Well, not get it done by. All of the videos are being posted today on the 22nd of December. And so speaking of everyone else's videos, all of the links to everyone else's videos will be in the description down below. There is a link to the playlist that Princess Jasmine has made for us and you can click on that and watch all of the videos of these other amazing simmers and you can watch everything that they have made and see kind of what they did to take this challenge into their own hands. This challenge, I'll tell you a little bit about the collab rules just so you can have a better idea of what it entails. So, like I said, anyone was welcome to join and there's none of these builds will have any CC so they are able to be downloaded from the gallery. Everyone will have different amount of packs that they've used or else. So, um, you may have limitations in terms of that if you wanted to download any of the builds, but other than that, everything should be easily downloadable from the gallery. I'm sure plenty of people use the holiday celebration pack and probably seasons as well if they have it, just because it is a Christmas holiday related build collab, but that doesn't mean that they did use it. So I'm very interested to see what everyone else has made. So if you are too, definitely I encourage you to check out their videos, but this collab is so each entry, it's all a build collab, and each entry must be limited to a 30 by 20 lot or smaller and or uh, less than 100 tiles. I opted for doing 100 tiles, so what you can see here on the screen is that it says you've placed 100 tiles out of 100 for this tier. So I used every single tile that I could have for this build. <laughs> I used exactly 100 tiles and I really pushed the limits there. <laughs> and each build has to be related to Christmas. So for my build, I made a Santa's workshop and you'll see later on how it like comes to be, but it's super cute, super Christmassy, and you can imagine all the little elves working in there, getting all the gifts ready for all the kids. I used clutter like crazy on the inside for making like gifts and toys and stuff. So it's really, really, really cool in my opinion. <laughs> and then also a part of the collab rules is that some people can work in a pair towards one entry. So there is a possibility that some of the videos as a part of this collab are actually like the same build. Like two people may have worked together on one build sort of thing. I personally worked on my own but I'm sure there's probably at least maybe one group that tried to do it together. I'm not sure, I am not aware, <laughs> but you can definitely check out their videos as well. And each entry will have the hashtag cozy Christmas collab in the gallery and in the video title. So you would have already seen that in my video title if you're watching this, <laughs> but if you wanted to download my build from the gallery, it will have the hashtag cozy Christmas collab so that you can easily find it as well as everyone else's builds. And so yeah, you can also, some people don't have YouTube channels, so some of them are just on the gallery or on social media. So you might have to go to other platforms if you wanted to check out everyone else's. But I think that's all of the collab rules. So once again, I'm just encouraging you to watch everyone else's videos as well as mine. Please stick around to watch mine if you're, if you're still here. But I'll tell you a little bit about my build. So like I said, this is Santa's workshop and I've just made it up on a little platform with the train tool. I just wanted to give it a little more elevation. But then here we're working on already decorating the front lot. You saw before that I placed down a bunch of mailboxes, like a bunch. 
And my idea was that that's where all the Santa's letters comes in that says, I want this for Christmas. <laughs> so that's kind of where I got that idea from. And I thought it was just super cute. And because I completely lined the entire front of the build with those mailboxes, I figured that it kind of looks like a fence almost. And I used the swatch from Seasons that was like uh, candy cane colors, like red and white. So I think they look really Christmassy and really cute. And they definitely add that color to the build that is necessary to make it look very Christmassy and colorful and bright. And then now what you're watching is I'm actually building Santa's sleigh. So I made this out of some curtains, a carpet, a rug, sorry, or yeah, rug that I sized up. It's just the one that has snowflakes on it for the holidays. I think it's from Seasons. And then I used two couches. One in the back is actually kind of covered, but it's there and it's just covered with some presents. I used the reindeer decorations as well. Um, because of the limitations with the decorations, there's like four smaller reindeer off of it, but I, I just uh, ignore them. <laughs> okay. So there's four reindeer pulling the sleigh and we I used the, um, what are they called? The Christmas pop popper things, Christmas crackers. That's what they're called. Um, I used those to line the edge of them as like a rim just to make it look more Christmassy and kind of cool, just decorating it more, also to hide the fact that they're curtains. <laughs> and I just put some garland in as well to make it more Christmassy. And as you can see now, I've added a garage door with a little ramp thing that leads down to the sleigh. So my idea there was that inside the workshop, there's also a garage door because they're only one-sided. And then they open the garage door and they throw the presents down the chute and into the sleigh. And I used the um, awning thing from Base Game that has a swatch in red and white. And I thought it just looked very candy cane like and it was perfect colors. So I used that. I considered using the green one, but I was like, oh, the red one is way better because it's at least candy cane colors and it matches the outside of the house. So I thought it was just kind of a cute idea to make it seem like, yeah, it's a it's a cute little cozy workshop, but it's also like, this is an operation, okay? Like we gotta get all these gifts out in like fast. So we need to throw them down the chute into the sleigh. <laughs> like there's no, there's no being gentle about this. So yeah, kids don't ask for iPads for Christmas. They're gonna get broken in transit. <laughs> we're a little, we're a little aggressive with our um, toy handling <laughs> here. But also kids shouldn't ask for expensive gifts like that from Santa anyways, because other kids, families who can't afford the more expensive gifts are like, well, my friend got an iPad from Santa. And it's like, why can't the Santa not love me? Was I a bad kid? I only got a tiny toy. Like, that's why you shouldn't get expensive give, gifts for kids, okay, from Santa, but I'm, Moving on, back to the build. <laughs> this is, you're watching just me do some landscaping now. And I used a lot of the trees from Snowy Escape because I thought they were so cute. And obviously some of them already have snow on them. And so it made it look very wintry and like North Pole-esque, I would say. And I really like them and I think they fit the vibe. Evergreen trees are perfect for like the whole winter Christmas Eve vibe that I was going for. And I just decorated the these, um, the walkway up into the building with some nutcrackers and presents and some lanterns. Um, I think it looks really cute and just like, just cluttered enough where it's like your Sims can still walk through it, but it's, it's cool. I think it's really cute. And I decorated like my landscaping definitely included a lot of like Christmas clutter because we are in the winter. Oh my God, my voice. <laughs> but because we're in the winter, um, some of the plants, end up dead like you can see i used some of the bushes there that have they're just branches because in the winter time they are dead so i still used some of them because i thought they looked kind of cool and added to the whole winter aspect but um because there is limitations with what you can use and like make it look alive. I definitely substituted a lot of the landscaping with more like holiday decorations instead. So you can see I added presents all around the outside of the house as house workshop as the like landscaping, but also because like 
this isn't a huge operation. Like Christmas, like New Year's Eve is a big deal. And there needs, this place is kind of small. It's only hundred tiles. So there has to be places for the presents to go. It just so happens that they end up being outside. <laughs> So yeah, I completely just decorated and went crazy with adding all these different presents. I used a lot of the same colors though, um, greens and reds and whites and occasionally the lighter pinks, but uh, those are basically kind of what I aim to do, but I definitely didn't keep it too structured because there's some that I think ended up being like purple or something. But for the most part, I just tried to keep it nice and bright and colorful. Like I added all of the lights outside and lighting just to make it very bright at night. All of the screenshots are actually taken at the nighttime. So if you stick around to the end of the video to check those out, all of the screenshots will be at nighttime to show off all the lighting and there's just the cute Christmas vibes. <laughs> and now we're on the inside working on the workshop. <laughs> working on the workshop, yep. <laughs> um, it does change a little bit later on. I end up rearranging and putting the work tables centered in the middle of the room but for now there's six of them there ends up only being four but i moved them around because i wanted to add more work like um shelving things on the outside so i needed to move the work tables to the middle and it ended up looking really nice so let me you'll see it in a bit but right now i'm just working on breaking up the two sides of the room I wanted it to be open, so I used gates, fences, and half walls here, but I also wanted it to be somewhat closed off because it's like the workshop side and then we've got the cozy chillaxing side. So on the other side, we will have like a fireplace, couch, comfy chairs, we got a little counter with like coffee, espresso, tea, and then we've got a Christmas tree. It's just like the elves, they need time to chill, okay? They're busy. They're busy all year round and during their shift, they need a place to sit down, have their 30 minute break and just chill. So that's what this room is. It's the chill room. It's a lot less cluttered on this side. Um, obviously I haven't started the whole clutter process, but on this side, it's a lot less cluttered. It, your sins are able to like walk through it easily to get to the fireplace and sit down on the couch and stuff if you wanted to play with this build for some reason. <laughs> but I just added a lot of like cozy things like the rocking chairs from Nifty Knitting. I used like the same reds and greens throughout because this is Christmas all year round here up in the North Pole, so you gotta keep the red and green going all year round. So I even use like the bookshelves that are green and I think they're really cute and like cozy rustic vibes. <laughs> but it looks like we're actually working on the workshop now. So this workshop is literally filled with toys. Like, I kid you not, it's like packed full. I just like went into like the clutter items and had the show hidden objects and show live objects on. So I got a bunch of like, the like nifty knitting toys and other toys that you can find like from journey to beth 2 even and i just kind of like cluttered the entire workspace with all of the toys it's it's actually just like aggressive <laughs> and i really like it i think it's really cute and i think they really need to clean up they they need to get their wrapping elves in to clean up after the workshop elves because all these elves they made all the toys but they need to get like these gifts wrapped up <laughs> they're all just sitting everywhere so they need to definitely get on that shift for sure but i wanted to uh, the reason why i put it like in the middle the work benches is because i wanted to have the nifty knitting like work work book shelf things whatever they're called <laughs> i don't know what they're called but um i wanted to have those in there just because they there was like a red swatch but there's also like a there was like a bluey green and i was like yeah close enough to green and so i thought they were just kind of like this is the supplies where the elves grab from to make all their toys or that's where all the wrapping supplies are and right now you can see i'm filling it up with all these toys like i use the toy buckets that you can just get without any cheats but then all the other toys are basically like 
nifty knitting journey number two i got some snowy escape toys in there got some base game like actual toys that sims will play with i put some violins around i got the stacking blocks but i also decorated it with more wrapped presents as well just to keep up the whole christmasy vibe but it's literally just so much in here you'll I really like it. And then I even end up decorating the workshop tables as well. I use the red shelf and I place a bunch of toys on that. And then I move them over onto the work ben workbenches so that um, it looks like these are the toys that they're working on. This is mainly where I put a lot of the like Journey of a Two items too, because like I, I, would, I debated not using this pack, but at Christmas time, like Star Wars makes a lot of money. Disney makes bank. <laughs> they always release their like, shows and movies around like November and December. So it's for a reason. It's because that's when they make their money. It's Christmas time. So they sell their merch. And so I felt like it was realistic. So I did add it. But yeah, as you can see, lots and lots of gifts. So the screenshots will be rolling in a minute. You can see everything more in detail in live mode. But I also encourage you to go check out everyone else's videos that are in the playlist in the my description box definitely check out Princess Jasmine's at least because she was the one that organized this whole collab. But I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my video. I really appreciate people coming and watching my videos and liking, commenting, even just watching. Um, I really appreciate it. But for now, I just want to say thank you so much and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.